Okay. Let's check this out. So from my window, we had uh, one inch of space from the window frame in between the new build. So as soon as the trailer takes off, we will be able to get our back door, I mean our window uh, set properly, even though it is sealed and temporary sealed up. So let's go ahead, go on in and see where we've been for the last two years. So this is the front bedroom. We built that little frame there for putting a couch against it or a bed. That's the sliding door we just brought in so that on travel it doesn't fall off. There's couch and stuff that are reupholstered. That one little heater, that one tiny little flame. It's keeping this whole place from freezing. November 14th, 2018. It's 32 degrees outside, 67 degrees inside. Hi, honey. Hi. We're eating the breakfast of champions. Mom wanted cheesecake last night, so we went to Walmart, bought her some cheesecake. And we put it in our refrigerator, which is still a freezer because John hasn't put the thermostat on to turn it into a refrigerator. It's out here in our wonderful mud room <coughs> that we've had to put the um, cement board all around to keep the puppies from getting into our phone. But we got this little freezer to use as a refrigerator. But I won't have a freezer, but I'll have a refrigerator because John's going to put a thermostat on it and it should work well with our solar system for right now. Um, in fact, it has been. This is a heater and we have one just like this in mom's bedroom. And this is what's kept it at, what was it, 65? 67. 67. And right now I've turned it all the way down to two. The highest it's been is three. And we were down to 20 degrees last night. Probably. It was really nippy last night. And it's going to be for the next three nights. But John was able to get water out of the system here. Um, and it isn't frozen underneath. And we were kind of worried about that because of the brass fittings down under where the PEX is. That's what um, usually breaks on our system. And we haven't had time to skirt the trailer yet or the, the house yet since the trailer left on Sunday. So, we are living in massive chaos right now. No water, what is it, Wednesday? So we haven't had water Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today, but John's gonna- Oh, we had water, we just have to go out and get it from the- Well, system. we've had water right there. We haven't had anything to wash our hands in. We haven't had a toilet. We're using a porta potty that hospice provided. So, um, we're doing all of that. Um, I decided to cut down on the cabinets that I was thinking about using in here. So we're going to have to kind of piecemeal together a kitchen for right now. Um, John's cut me some Advantech for a counter. We do have the sink over there. We're getting ready to move. Cut this off because I had the plumbing run just right here and not through the outside wall. Because we have foam in there. And if anything goes wrong, I didn't want to have to dig out the foam. Plus, I just didn't want 
any water on an exterior wall. So it comes, the water, this is our water wall, shares with the kitchen and the bathroom. And so I had him run this in, so we're just going to cut this out, notch this out, so that the water will run behind it. This corner will be a, a no corner. It's going to be wasted space because I'm not going to do a Lazy Susan or anything like that because I don't like it. Plus, we can still have an access panel to the um, tub area and the on and off valves. Um, whatever we put here, we'll probably have an opening so we can get into that. Um, but we're going to move the trash um, cabinet on this side. We're going to put our three drawers right here. And then John's going to put this um, Advantech on the counter for me. We'll put the sink in over there. We have the faucet. And we have all the plumbing parts. So in just a little bit we should have... Um, at least one sink working. Oh, and he also put in our hot water tank, which is an on-demand um, propane gas tank. Don't know how well it works. It's got to work better than the one we had in the trailer. The one we put in the trailer was for outdoor use, and it, it wasn't easily regulated. It either was really, really hot, or it got pretty cool, and you had to keep messing with it. So this is our new hot water tank. How much was this, honey? Two fifty nine, Amazon. We'll put a link for it here, I guess. Yeah, and I mean all we have is a bathroom, one bathroom, and the kitchen. So we didn't need a great big one. And then our water system, our two pressurized tanks, and our filtration system John's going to bring in from the outside because it needs to be in here and secure. And then after that's all brought in, we'll bring the washer and dryer over here, because I need them. I need the washer now, before we want, run out of panties and all. Um, put it here, dryer here, washer there. And um, <clears throat> this area right here will be where we hang our coats and put our shoes and boots when we come in, like a normal mudroom. And then I'm going to use this gate, lock this off. This will be the dog area, the baby turkey area, the baby chicken area, the sick chicken area. This will be like our little barn area. And at some point there will be a doggy door right there so they can go in and out. Right there. So, um, but our windows turned out awesome in here. Um, they came, what, on Friday. Friday and sprayed the foam for us and put a good coating underneath um, of the closed cell. So this has stayed relatively toasty. And as you can see, there's no door here. Um, Jerome found us a door. John's probably going to be able to get it today. Jerome, Jerome will be back on Friday or Saturday to help put the door in and to put our east window in in our bedroom. Now we have had quite a bit of condensation, I guess, from the propane heat in our bedroom. Our bedroom is the coolest area, um, which is good for sleeping, but it wasn't really bad when we woke up, and this morning we actually slept in. None of the animals got out. I think we slept in until 8.30. I had to get up at 5 to let them out. And then, but we slept until 8.30? 9, yeah, 8.30. Because <laughs> when we were moving the trailer, John had moved that little porch area out away from the trailer a foot, and I was carrying out some kitchen stuff, some um, uh, muffin tins, some glassware and stuff in my arms, and I forgot, and I stepped and fell, fell on my back, hurt my left, my right hip, shoulder, elbow, and knocked the air out of me, so, knocked the wind out of me, so I couldn't call for John, and I was in a lot of pain, so we didn't get much done after that on Sunday, so we didn't start again until Monday and we started with finishing up the venting for the plumbing and all the plumbing underneath, the drain pipe for the gray water and the, <coughs> well we did the drape, 
the drain pipe for the gray water and then Tuesday we came back and connected the kitchen to all of that for the drain and then we're going to um, be able to hook it all up. Now our backhoe broke like you know so we haven't been able to finish the septic so our favorite friend the porta potty might stay for a little bit longer. And I'm finding a vanity to go here, 36 inch vanity. But we, this is our vent pipe and the drain pipe for the sink. So we vented it up. We came across. We here is the vent that goes all the way down and connects to everything. So it comes over and connects here. The kitchen comes up here and connects up there. And then the tub connects for the drain or for the vent underneath. Um, into this and then into the drain. So the tub is set um, and I almost forgot after we put the mortar underneath to level it and it's as level as I could get it after I finally remembered which is going to be okay. But toilet here, vanity here. Um, we're going to live with this floor for just a little bit until I can put the cement board down. I painted the OSB. I'm going to seal the um, joints with caulk. Paint it one more time with porch paint because it'll probably be about another month before I get the tile to put in here and to do the backsplash. As soon as we get all of this done and our plumbing, or our plumbing for the kitchen and everything got hooked up, we'll come in and we'll do the sheetrock. So we can have this all enclosed. This is the only room with the drop ceiling. The vent for the um, plumbing is going to go out that wall. And then the vent for the vent hood and the vent for the exhaust fan in the bathroom will go out the front wall. Those two things will be taken care of. And um, chaos. It's just chaos. Come here, I'll show you my room real quick. This little area, of course, is going to be expanded out just a little bit, and this is going to be where our wood burning stove goes. It's going to go up to the ceiling. Now, that's expensive. It's going to be about $500 for the piping, stove pipe. So, we've got to come up with that so we can bring our stove in and not have propane heat anymore and have wood burning. This is here to lock the dogs out. Come on in, Matt. Come on, don't be scaring you. In these spaces in between here, the flooring, we're going to put cedar. Because our whole, all of the trim inside will be cedar and the ceiling will be cedar. So we're just going to put a little cedar strip here and then I'll seal it with the poly. Bedroom. This is where we're storing our clothes right now and we don't have enough room. But John is going to be bartering out some closets for us, custom-made closets. They'll stick out four foot, be about two foot deep on either side of the bed. And then eight foot tall, drop down two feet for some cabinetry here for storage. And then our little sconce will go here. We'll have the bed eight inches of a headboard. That slants down so we can lean back and have more storage under it. So it'll bump the bed out about a foot. So it'll only be recessed in the two feet by one foot and we can still see out the windows. But <clears throat> this is spring and summer clothes being put into the storage um, containers and bringing out our winter clothes so we can stay warm. This will all be gone in a couple of days. So, I think we're going crazy. I feel like I'm going crazy, and I'd really like to wash my hands. I'd really, how about you, honey? Would you like to wash your hands? Yeah. And check this awesome. out. My puppies, my big dogs knocked my glasses off, and my puppies decided to take the lenses out and mangle it. John got it back together, but whenever I get a breather, I think I'll get me some new glasses. Not in the budget, but I guess that's my Christmas present. And <clears throat> check back with this. John's going to hopefully get us the back door 
and our sofa and move his tools out so that we can get a sofa in. I'm going to get all the, most of these boxes are just from the pantry. So I need to put pantry stuff up, um, kitchen plates and everything up and figure out somewhere else to put that shelving unit because I want to hang our coats out there high enough that the puppies can't get to it. Oh, and if you know anyone who would like two adorable puppies, a male black try and a female black try, they're still available. Um, we thought we had them sold, but that fell through. So in order to take care of the rest of the stuff we need, if you want to help us find owners and families for our little puppies, I would love it. Let us know. Um, comment down below and then contact us. Well, on our webpage, they can go and call us, can't they? Leave a message. Leave a message. Okay, you can leave a message on the um, webpage because John, I've stopped him to do plumbing, but he thought internet was more important. He was trying to move the pole over, huh, honey? And so he was in hopes to get his favorite thing, the internet, hooked back up, but that will have to be just a little bit later. Water. Wash our hands. More important. Internet. Right. Internet. Water. Internet. Water. Internet. Toilet. Toilet. Pee Toilet. outside. Pee outside. I'm so tired of emptying the little pee back bucket. He's also going to have to go when he stops to get us some cedar chips to put in there so that we don't have to have a smell. You haven't lived until you've pooped in the bucket. And we thought we were camping in the camper. <laughs> That's a funny thing. <laughs> But anyway, guys, check back with us. Check the progress. Are you going to video this, honey? Show the progress? Yeah. Okay. You'll see it come together slowly but surely. All right. Have a good one, guys. Create some magic. Like, wiggle your nose and make all this go away to its proper place. All right. Bye-bye.
Okay, today is November 17th. Kelly got our countertops and stuff sanded yesterday, sealed uh, I think twice. Three and times. Three times. Three times. So it's got a nice, uh, nice feel on the edges and everything here. Overall, so now if you get any water on the counter, it's not going to hurt anything. Oh, look at that. What do we got in here? We've got cold water and hot water. And the hot water back here makes our little hot water machine kick on. Turn on the hot water for me, honey, for a second. So it starts running right away. And it tells you right there, burner's going, and what the temperature of the water coming out of the, the unit is. I think I've got it set to 120. And it gets up there pretty quick. I got 0.7 gallons per minute coming through. 102, 106, 108. This is the, uh, I'm up to 120. This is our uh, eco temp. And we have that vented and sealed out right there. So it's just a makeshift water system. I'm going to bring the rest of the water system in, but this is the way we can get water in right away. Yeah, get that cold. Alright, so we got coffee going. Here's progress so far. We're still putting some kitchen stuff away. That vanity is going to go into the bathroom um, for now, and then uh, we'll get that going once we finish up the bathroom plumbing. All of our stuff we had out here, Kelly has been doing a good job putting it all away. And then just have a little bit of tools and some supplies down here that we're still working on. She's going to tile this area still. And then I think we're going to order that one last box of tiles. We're going to tile that front area. So there you go update as of November 19th so we've been today is uh, Monday so we've been one week um, the trailer's been gone for one week and one day we got um, water in here on I think Friday we got the plumbing and stuff uh, for the kitchen sink on Friday uh, today is Monday. The, uh, we're gonna have water and stuff to the bath, and so now we can take a shower. Well, take a bath, and uh, got the door in. Um, didn't get the landing and stuff built for that, but that can come soon. I got to start working on skirting and getting the toilet and stuff going. Uh, still have to get that worked out. Got to work on the backhoe, get that fixed. What else? Okay, this is November twenty second. Here's what. Uh Kind of looking like right now. I just set up my speakers temporarily. I just got those out of storage. So we have some music. Got a good amount of our boxes put away. We've got one cabinet on the shelf over here. So far, to put our dishes and things like that um, out of the way, keep them from getting too dusty. The floor's turned out. I mean, the wind. The um, Countertops and stuff have turned out uh, pretty good. We've been using them here for a few days, and cleanup has been uh, pretty easy with them. A little bit of a stain there, but that's on the surface. And let's see. Okay, well, here's what I want you to do. And there's that. And then let's go over here. Got the washer and dryer put in and working. Still have more boxes. These boxes are empty, they need to be put away. And so we've been able to do washer and dryer. Little cabinet here. This thing is working awesome. So we got a freezer right now. That's working awesome. Temporary water system actually put in. Let me kind of show you what this looks like. So over here, 
Um, this is the water coming in from the main line. I mean, uh, shut off valve here, then I'm tapping off of this um, and sending cold water to the rest of the house. Um, and all this is being filtered at the filtration station back there. I'm going to bring all of that and build it all in here later. But this is just our temporary setup to get going. Then um, this is taking our water and splitting cold water to our hot water heater here, which then is uh, sending the hot water back out to the rest of the house. And then um, the last split on this line goes directly into our uh, 0.9 micron filtration system and that goes specifically to the cold water side of the sink for drinking, uh, drinking, cooking. But I got my computer and stuff set up over here temporarily. Um, the dogs and stuff have been hanging out in here. We got the uh, door stuff uh, we got that all foamed in and sealed in that's looking really good temporary steps and stuff for now and when you come around here um, the drain line that we have for uh, it's gonna be part of our French drain that we're gonna be building up and stuff this is the gray water system uh, coming off of the uh, washer which is taking it all down. Hi, kitty. What's going on, kitty, kitty? Hi, baby. What's up with you? Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Okay. So, um, that is uh, taking it from here. And, uh, had to dig out. Let's see if it goes all the way down here. Down past the house. All the way past this. Now I did have to do some clearing and leveling here the other day, uh, just so that when we do our washing and stuff like that, all the water and stuff does actually come here. Hush, guys! Good doggies. That was scary. If I was a bad guy. So yeah, all of our uh, gray water. Hush! All our gray water stuff is coming out here, and the rest of the uh, water from the house. Hush. Come here. Come here, Oski Boski. Hi, baby. Last one. Last one to go. We're, uh, we got to deliver one here shortly. Anywho, I got to work on the skirting and stuff out here. And our uh, board and batten. This is our um, gray water line for sink, bathtub, kitchen sink, bathtub, and eventually bathroom sink so this is running currently down to there and then it'll eventually um, be uh, leading an in inlet into a pond that we're gonna have here for the animals and stuff with uh, vegetation and stuff like that that'll clear out and keep all that clean we'll have a filtration system in it as well Sorry for all the mess out here. We still haven't had a chance to clean up. We've been working on more important things inside. Here's my temporary booster setup. I got my cable and all my wires and stuff going in down to my booster and to my uh, cellular box inside right there. That's giving us temporary internet. This is where the trailer and stuff was. And, uh, probably take this end of the gas line that went to the trailer and probably use it for uh, plumbing directly into our ga outdoor gas grill for now and then we'll use it for our outdoor kitchen later and then out here uh, we're gonna have a sleeping porch with a wraparound deck probably about uh, I think 12 to 14 feet out coming this way wrapping all the way around the front to about the kitchen window so we'll have a nice uh, dry area out here and a nice surface to work on so that'll be another project uh, sometime soon I might even wrap it around to go to the back door I'm not sure I think that would be a good idea but we'll see and uh, there's all of our mess but 
solar system is chugging away. Our solar system over here, the house seems to be drawing so much less power than the entire house was. I mean, the, the trailer, camper. So we got 1,400 watts coming in right now. 5,000 watts have been generated today. We got 45.9 amps or so coming in. Batteries are at 31.3, uh, 31.6 is 100% topped off. And check this out on the power panel. Uh, let me see which one is it. Well, let's see. I think this one here. So this one here, this um, this one runs our entire house. 30 amp circuit. That runs the entire house because the whole house is so efficient. Pretty unbelievable, isn't it? So, a lot more work to do. Got to pull, pull the old copper lines and stuff out, pull the old uh, ethernet out, that 100 footer, so I can reuse that somewhere else. And uh, I've got to take that pole over there and I'm going to be bearing it about here. into this hole, just so that I don't have to extend my 100 foot wire. Um, because every time you extend it or add new connections, it lowers your efficiency. And then we're gonna run that wire directly down here into this building. All the electronics and stuff that's gonna run the house will be actually sitting probably back here. Here's our, uh, where our water connection was, or is. If you'll see inside here, maybe. There you go. There's our hex line that we tapped into uh, that was running our uh, spigot or faucet uh, for city water for the camper. Got everything all um, tied in here, uh, sealed up real good. Tried to actually remove, there's some um, zip tape uh, behind this here. And I was actually, it was probably 38 degrees uh, the other day. Uh, I tried my hardest to rip the zip tape off, but it would not detach. Um, it was unbelievable. It was actually pulling uh, a stick. I got underneath it a little bit and it was sticking so tough on there that um, it was actually pulling my gloves off um, and then just uh, ripping little shards off. So I just said, screw it, I'll just leave it and I'll put new zip tape and stuff over it. So everything's been zip taped all the way around uh, the perimeter and then uh, caulked on the outside, caulked on the inside. So yeah, pretty crazy, pretty crazy stuff. Okay. So that's uh, the update. Our current update as of Thanksgiving, which is today. Um, just getting ready to go over to a friend's house for Thanksgiving and then uh, We'll get resume getting back to working some of our stuff uh, here in the next couple of days. But I'm at the end of this. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you. You can see some of the progress I'm going to add to the uh, right after this section here, so you can see the in-between progress between uh, today and the last um, oh a week and a half, two weeks or so. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.